Let's talk about narcissistic rage. And if you're new here, I am a diagnosed narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. So to answer this question right here, yes, 100%. Everything a narcissist says doing a rage out, doing a rage, rage fest or whatever, they 100% mean. A raging narcissist says what a, a calm, unraging narcissist has thought. Just like they say a, a drunk man's words is a sober man's thoughts, that right there. So everything a narcissist says when they're raging out on you, they 100%, they mean it. They've thought it, they've meant, they've meant it, but they probably just saved it for later. Because like when like we are raging out, it's literally like we take a, like a back seat to our consciousness and just, you know, I'm still there watching myself rage out, watching myself say this stuff, but I just can't control it. But I've meant what I've said, as, as terrible and as evil as it may be, I've meant what I said. And I've said it to inflict, you know, hurt and pain and the worst possible words and it's wild, y'all, it is. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Hilders from TikTok. Um, the diagnosed narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. And the point of my entire platform is to bring awareness to narcissistic personality disorder and in the process, validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. This series, A Narcissist Explains, is where I take my YouTube shorts and my TikToks and I open up on them. I go into detail about them. I talk about them. I do my thing on these things. The one you just watch right here is about what a nar the things a narcissist says when they are raging. Uh, a woman asked me, I had spoken to this woman before, y'all, honestly, I, I, I talked to her on an Instagram live one time, and she's dealing with a narcissist that, you know, for a long time, and their relationship is just tumultuous, I think he's cheating on her or whatever, and she's just super trauma bonded, trying to get out, but she, you know, I don't think she got out yet, just based on that question right there she asked, um, and pretty sure he rages on her and says some really, really mean things, and she, she's so trauma bonded, she's disconnected the mean things to try to say, she's like, Maybe he just says those mean things in a rage. He doesn't mean them. He when, when a narcissist rages on you, the things that they're screaming and yelling at you, are they 100% mean? It doesn't mean that they. Are, it doesn't mean that those things that they are saying are true. It doesn't have the thing that the, the things that they are saying are not necessarily true. They don't have to be true. It's the fact that they are saying them in general. In general, it's the fact that they're saying them regardless. The fact they mean that, like a raging narcissist words are a uh, calm narcissist thoughts. Like we have thought about this stuff. The, st the stuff that we have, they say to you when we are angry, is not out of the blue, like grab this and throw it at you. Nope, we've thought about it before. When you told us about your uh, your, your, your dad passing away um, or cheating on your mom or something like that, we thought about that like, hey, you must have cheated on your mom, your mom must have been a terrible person. So when we get in an argument, that's why your mom, that's why your dad was cheating on your mom, because your mom is terrible, and you just like your mom. What? You know, you see, I just took that, what you told us earlier about your dad cheating on your mom, you just took that, balled it up into an insult to hurt you with. That's why your dad was cheating on your mom, because you just like your mom. Y'all know how to treat people. Y'all know how to treat men. Boom, just took that early. Balled it up, shot it. Because we've thought it. We've thought that stuff, y'all. We've literally, the things that the narcissist says when they're screaming and yelling at you, they have that, that thought has ran through their head. Not, maybe not to use against you later on, but it's like a, a a mental bank back here, a mental bank of insults to use against you later on. Because like me personally, I know when I first meet somebody, um, I'm always thinking ways that I can hurt that person. Not physically, not necessarily, not necessarily physically. If it's a man, sometimes you got you got to level up. I want to see what you can do to him. See, so I can throw the hands a little bit. You know, maybe not physically. But just emotionally, mentally, like I'm just like, I'm thinking ways that I'm better. I, I need to find a way that I'm better than this person in some way, shape, or form, or some kind of ammunition that I can use to get that person later. Because I I only get close to people that I can, you know, that just in case, I, just in, I don't plan on using them, but just in case you come at me with some BS and try to expose me or hurt me, I can do the same to you. We both have something to lose. You need to have something to, to deal with me. To I need, we both need to have something to lose. That's the only way we can. I can. I feel like I can trust people. We both have to have something that we can both lose together. You say something about me, I'm gonna say something about you. We both crashing each other. We both crashing each other's battleships. You know what I mean? Dude, that's how my mind works. But in that, like I said, back to the rage part. So in a narcissistic rage, like literally, y'all, it's like kind of like taking, like when that it takes a little while to get there. But when that trigger sets off or that dynamite sets off in my mind, it's literally like a out of body experience. And no, y'all, oh my goodness, the demonic Jezebel comments, keep them to yourself. Like, goodness gracious. 
Just keep the demonic Jezebel comments to yourself, please. That's a demonic spirit, lady. That's why this the outer body, out of heaven, out of hell. You have an out of hell experience. That's the devil coming through you, through that that soulless body of yours. That lacking of empathy. They can't keep the devil out, huh? and that's why you're evil, huh? and that's why you are narcissist, uh -huh? and that's why you got that Jezebel spirit in you. Uh -huh? No, not like that. The thing about it is, it's like that. It's not an out of body. It's an out of body experience where I'm still right there, lucid. I can see. I just cannot like. It's like I hit an autopilot button. It's like I'm both the pilot and the like autopilot. I can see and hear everything, and I'm doing. I just can't stop it. And part of me don't want to stop it. You know what I mean? I just see myself yelling and screaming and saying what I needed to say, like raging out, just throwing shit, hitting hitting stuff, throwing things. You know what I mean? And if it's a person I'm about to, like, if we about to, like, it's a man, and we about to, like, I've never hit a woman before in my life, y'all, don't do that. But if it's a man we about to square up, I'm about to stay much trying to hurt this person to the point where they're going to rem remember me for the rest of your life. But I don't believe in, you know, I believe in hurting you so you remember me for the rest of your existence. When it gets cold and your arm hurt, like, what happened to my arm? Oh, yeah, Lee Hammock, like, he made that, that, that hook, that hook right there damaged my some nerves in my arm. I can remember Lee Hammock from that. You know what I mean? But it's like literally uh, just, and then when I come, like when the rage ends, when the screaming and yelling ends, when it subsides, sometimes there's a, if it's, you know, it depends on who it is. There's a moment of like embarrassment and shame. I'm just like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I let it get to that point. I'm just like, but then uh, almost instantaneously, a part of my, like almost instantaneously, a part of my, another part of my mind would kick in. It's like, hey, you, you had to protect yourself. What else were you supposed to, how else could that have went? How else could that have went? That's how my mind thinks, y'all. Like, how else How else did you expect this to go? You know what I mean? This could not have went any other way. This was going to go the way it went. Like, they, if they wouldn't have said that, you wouldn't have said it did this. So it's not your fault, Lee. It's their fault. Breathe easy. And that's what I'm telling myself, y'all. Like, listen to that. How, listen how I talk to myself. Breathe easy. Because if they wouldn't have triggered you, you wouldn't have said that. You wouldn't have to do this. The rage is something different, y'all. And I've said some pretty nastily evil stuff when I was raging. Not know I have. And and I just, people are like, do you not regret it? Just say it now, I'm going to do. I got to stand up. I already said it. Say it, sorry, I ain't going to take it back. You know what I mean? I'm, I got to stand on it now. You said some evil stuff. You're going to say sorry. Like, okay, so you actually say sorry, then sorry. <laughs> you didn't mean that. I mean, if you have to ask for an apology, is it really? If they, if, if you have to ask for an apology and the person apologizes, do they really mean it? Is it really an apology or is it just manipulation? Okay. Put that pipe in. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Anyway, y'all, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. I hope y'all enjoyed these episodes of Narcissus Code. I'm trying to do at least two a day. It's getting tedious, y'all. If y'all got some recommendations on who can do a, if somebody on uh, my comment section put, put put I need an intro. If y'all guys, I'm gonna go on Fiverr if y'all don't recommend somebody for me to do an intro. But anyways, y'all, I'm super thankful for y'all. I really appreciate like, I'm I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. Hit the like and subscribe button. Because mental illness is out. Be back tomorrow. Peace.